How's it going, YouTube? So I got something I don't normally buy. This is the, only the second straight I've ever owned. Uh, well, I got the package in here. I'll show you what it comes in. Zoom out. It's a blister pack. Everybody's favorite. Not really. This is the first clue that makes it look cheap. It's only the second knife I've ever got. A blister pack. Alright. You got black aluminum scales and they got their S logo all over it. Doesn't bother me too bad because if you're just looking at it quick, it just looks like a design. You got a huge flipper tab or pocket packer that sticks out. And what attracted me to this knife was the blade shape. I saw this on Amazon and I was like, that blade looks cool. And then it was $28 and it, it was an OS 10, not like OS 8 or 8 CR. So I was like, I'll give it a shot. Why not? This has a cool looking blade, but still after everything, there's still, there's potential there. It just, it still needs a lot of work to be a good knife. But let's go over it. I'll talk about why it's not a good knife at the end. Got a 3.5 inch OS 10 blade. I'm gonna zoom back in. It's a satin finish. I already got some scratches on it. Um, Tonto on the pack it says drop point recurve. It also says hollow grind, but I checked. This is a flat grind. So they lied about that. Blade stock on this guy is three millimeters or 0 0.120. And if you're seeing that, thinking that looks aggressive, then you're thinking right. It's very aggressive. You got so gotta go in the story. I got this and it was not sharp at all, like it wouldn't cut hot butter. So I'll I'm decided to put my normal 15 degree edge at least on the bottom part and I put like a 20 up here the problem was it had a 35 at least 35 degree ed angle on the edge so it took forever and ever to do it and halfway through I realized there was no sharpening tool so I had to get out the, the Dremel tool and grind a bunch of the blade off just so I could sharpen the whole edge. It was rough. But I ended up getting it pretty darn sharp even though I'm still not happy with the way it looks. It's super sharp now. Even though it is 30 to 35 thousandths behind the edge now. It's just crazy thick. Um, close it up so I don't cut myself. And ignore my hand, in case you've seen it. It wasn't from an office, from a cat telling me it doesn't want to live here no more. <laughs> 0.57 inch handle, 4.5 inch from top to bottom, and the width in your pocket, 1.33 inches. And it's 8 inches overall, so it's a full size knife. Let's do a few size comparisons. Senka Sashi. CJRB Lago. It is, it's hard to tell because the pocket clip's making it stick up. But it is about the same length as both of these. You got the Dan Designs Brahma. And Genzo FH91, knife I don't pull out too often. It's about the same size as both of those. Alright, you got decent access to the lock bar. 
on the watts pump catching this. Even with it blurry, it looks like teeth. Can you see that? And it feels like teeth when you're grabbing onto it. This right here feels very rough. Maybe I need to clean my camera. The camera just doesn't like this knife. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, and then there's some aggressive jumping right here too. So three spots on this knife has teeth. It does have decent lockup, so it's not going to come closed on you. Um, weighs 5.05 inches. I'm zoomed in too far. Let's look at this pocket clip. Yes, it's a um, tip down carry only, non reversible. About the ugliest pocket clip you could ever ask for. But you don't feel it in the hand, really. I guess that's a positive. Hardware's T6s, and it's a double sided pivot. But you gotta take the pocket clip off to get to the other screw, which makes it more fun. Let's see, what else we got here? It's on bearings, and as this pack says, Ultra Glide bearings. I don't know what makes them more special than the rest. I've had it apart. I do believe they are ceramic. This is from the Delta series, if that's important. Let's go over all the dislikes together now. So I do like the blade shape and this knife had potential. It just thinner blade, better sharpening, no teeth on the knife, and a better pocket clip and it would have been good. For running the jimping in all three areas is unnecessary. The thick bevel in the grind is unnecessary. And the clip just on repeat I guess does have good action and they could have made the, the flipper tab a bit smaller it's a little bit unnecessary so yeah that's all I got for this shrade I didn't even say the name of it the shrade scramble it is Austin and it felt like it was heat treated good because it gave me a hard time yeah that's all i got subscribe if you haven't already leave a comment if you'd like see you in the next one